Hi guys, welcome back to Lucas 3D Studio. In today's video, we're going to do some tests on different prime tower settings and hopefully answer questions like, do I need a prime tower? Can I reduce the size of the prime tower? Can I turn off the prime tower? I haven't found a lot of information about it online, so I decided to do the test on my own. I spent a total of 70 printing hours for this test, 220 grams of filament, roughly 1 kilogram of generated poops including the prime towers, so you don't have to. So before we start, what's actually a prime tower? A prime tower is that blocky figure you first see in your slicer if you print in multicolor. It has nothing to do with purging to prevent color bleeding. It is actually meant to prime the nozzle to make sure that the flow and the pressure are consistent. After the printer purges the poop to get rid of the previous color, it loses a bit of pressure in the nozzle so you'll often get under extrusion if you start printing your model right away. That's where the prime tower comes in. The prime tower helps to prevent any under extrusion on your model. That is why sometimes you can even see the under extrusion on your prime tower. Of course, if you only print single color models, you won't have to worry about any prime tower as it's not needed at all. I don't know about any other slicer softwares, but in Bamboo Studio, the prime tower will be activated as soon as you use a second color to paint your model. You can move it around and you can deactivate it by unchecking the prime tower option here under the setting others. You can even change and mess around with these prime tower parameters. The question is, what happens if you change them? Will it affect the print quality at all? And if it does, to what extent? To test this, I'm going to print three different models with three different prime tower settings. The first model I chose is this Togepi by Fi Tzu since it has light and dark colors. The second model is this mini robot model designed by 3D PRNS since it is an articulated model. It'd be interesting to see if there'll be influences on the joints. The third one is this Darth Vader print designed by Brent Glover 1970 since it's a flat print. For this test, I'm going to use the 0.4mm stock nozzle and the textured PEI plate to print the models. I'm also going to use strictly Bamboo Lab PLA basic filaments as to not introduce any other external influences. I'll also keep the flushing volumes multiplier at default for all these tests, so I don't expect any color bleeding to occur, but we'll see. So let's start with the first model and print it using three different prime tower settings. The first one is the default setting. The second one is about half the default setting. I'm going to call this the eco mode for the sake of simplicity. I'll keep the brim at 3mm though since I want a proper adhesion of the prime tower to the bed at all times. And the third one is no prime tower setting. So let's get right into it and print our model. So these are the results. Can you spot the differences? All in all, there aren't a lot of differences between these three prints. The most shocking thing to me is that the print without the prime tower is just as good as the one printed with the default setting. Sure, upon closer examination, you can see these imperfections like this color contamination spots here and here, which are negligible if you're not all that picky. But I don't see any under extrusion or any color bleeding, so I was actually very surprised with the result. Even the model printed with half the default setting is just as good, and if you put these two together, you really can't tell. So let's summarize these three prints. The first print with the default prime tower settings turned on cost me 259 grams of filament and it took 14 hours and 54 minutes to print. By halving the parameters of the prime tower, I saved 13 grams of filament, which is about 5%, and saved 35 minutes, which is about 4%. By deactivating the prime tower, I saved 20 grams of filament, which is about 10%, and saved 76 minutes, which is about 9%. 
Now let's move on to our second model, which is the articulated robot toy. Just like our first model, I'm gonna print it with three different prime tower settings, which are the default setting, the eco mode setting, and the no prime tower setting. Like our first test, the print with the default prime tower setting and the print with the eco mode setting show no significant visual differences. The third print, however, upon closer examination, you can clearly see the cavity on the hand of our robot toy, which hints that there was an under extrusion, at least on the first layer. Nevertheless, all prints have good movability and flexibility, which is also quite surprising to me. So let's summarize our robot toy prints. The first print with the default prime tower settings turned on cost me 130 grams of filament and took 8 hours and 18 minutes to print. But having the parameters of the prime tower, I didn't save any filament but saved 7 minutes, which is about 1%. By deactivating the prime tower, I saved 6 grams of filament, which is about 5%, and saved 26 minutes, which is about 5%. Now let's print our last model, which is this flat Darth Vader print. So on the top surfaces of these three prints, there aren't any obvious differences at all. If I flip this around, you can see slightly these grooves on the print with a prime tower turned off, which again implies under extrusion. The first and the second print, however, are very identical. So let's summarize our Darth Vader prints. The first print with the default prime tower settings turned on cost me 17.9 grams of filament and took me around 75 minutes to print. By having the parameters of the prime tower, I saved 0.5 grams of filament, which is about 3%, and by deactivating the prime tower, I saved 2.9 grams of filament, which is about 16%. So in conclusion, to answer the question if you should leave the prime tower turned on or not, I would say yes. To me personally, the extra amount of filament and time are pretty much negligible, so I wouldn't mind turning the prime tower on and keep it at the default settings because I know that I would get the most out of the printer. Of course, it pains me to see these huge prime towers that end up in the trash can, so I wouldn't see a problem with printing my models using the eco mode. Recently, I even reduced the settings even more to print this model, and it came out flawless. Of course, my settings are not meant to be the general rule, since not all models are the same. But I hope these tests would be helpful to you guys out there, and give you a little bit of insight so you know where to start. There is a lot of poop generated and a lot of time invested for these tests, so I would appreciate it if you could give a like and drop a comment in my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.